Time to time, situations arise in my life which provoked my anxiety. It's not going to work, it never has, so why will it today? And what then? What am I going to do then? It was my anxiety that taught me many lessons in my life. Now when you're faced with day-to-day -day stresses, it's only natural to feel anxious. Welcome to the second episode of this series. Tips to dig anxiety from the root when everything feels like it's going wrong. I'm Perception Shifter and in this episode, we're going to talk about how to look at the situation in a different way. Our mind wants to keep us safe, so it shows us all future threats. For this reason, we sometimes find it hard to cope, especially if we've faced a negative event in the past or things aren't going as planned. Now, many of us do suffer from anxiety once in a while, and this is crucial for our survival and well needed as anxiety, it keeps us on our toes, it motivates us and it protects us from what is yet to come so that we can begin to prepare in what we need to do. Here are some tips that can help you with your anxiety, which you can learn and implement throughout your life, which will help you with your anxiety over time or even right away. Now, we don't make the best of it. We find it hard to cope when we've been placed in a situation which heightens our anxiety. This is the brain telling you that I can't cope with this stressor. It's all happening to you. Now, our brain at times can just shut down and we can become all self-consumed and we can start asking the question to ourselves, why me? Why is this only or always happening to me? And this is self-consumption when the I, me and myself is involved. The victim. We can begin to feel a victim of what is going on within our minds. And this that is going on within our minds may not always be the truth, not learning. Now our brain can shut down everything within our life due to this one event. And that's affected our mental health. Now due to our mental health being affected, now this can affect other healths within our life such as our physical health, our spiritual health, or even our social health. So here are some solutions that we can investigate together. Now let's make the best of it. So how can we make the best of our anxiety? We reframe the situation. We begin to see other outcomes and other perspectives. So instead of you seeing the worst case in this situation, you see as it could be a worst case. It could be bad, but it also could be good. When we say to ourselves that it might be like this or it can be like this, rather than it is like this, it does make a difference. Now you need to understand that your brain has the capacity to handle whatever is going to happen. Now when you know that you'd be able to handle whatever might happen, then the outcome wouldn't really matter to you because you know that I'll be able to handle it mentally. Now, we should sometimes do see the worst, so then we can be ready for it. But now, perceiving yourself as weak is a bad judgment. It's all happening to you. So when our emotions play a role in this, this can demotivate us and it can also affect our thinking and we won't be seeing things as they are or even clear. We need to focus on why is this stressing me out for the future? What is the cause of it? Rather than looking at how is this making me feel? Because you might be able to handle the feeling for some time by doing something else, but that won't last for long until you find the cause of your feeling. Now, if you feel that you won't be able to live, you won't be able to cope, you won't be able to survive, this will affect on how we're gonna handle in what is going to come. Otherwise, we will struggle to handle anything that we are facing. Self-talk, most of the time, it's cause and effect. Something must have happened for this to occur. Now, we blame ourselves or we blame others. Listen to your inner talk. What are you saying to yourself? Are you a victim of your thoughts? Are you saying good things about yourself or are you saying bad things? For example, I am not worthy of recovery, to feel better, to have a happier life. Or are you saying that I am the best, I am worthy of recovery, I am or will feel better, and I am happy or I will be happy. Learn. Now it's okay, it's totally okay to receive any negative thoughts, but a thought is a second job. It's our thinking that is much longer and that would dictate on how long you'll be not feeling okay for. So it's okay not to be okay, but how long for? So a thought is fine. It's the thinking that comes after the thoughts. Now, if you have a thought that you're a bad person and your thinking goes into all the reasons why you're a bad person, then that's gonna keep you negative for a much more longer period. Now, if you're saying that I'm a bad person and if you 
have some positive thinking around it but then I am trying to be a good person now your thinking is going into that direction you'll tend to start to feel better much more quicker because what you're doing is you're controlling what you can control is your thinking your thoughts you cannot control so when a thought does come just check what you are thinking after the thought and whatever the thinking is change it change the thinking to something more positive so from i'm a bad person to that i can be a better person i'm willing to learn i'm willing to excel within my life so you want to keep your mental health in check and now you want to use other healths if one health is down so if your mental health is down you want to pick yourself up by using your physical health by using your spiritual health by using your social health so if your mental health is down and you want to lift yourself back up you physically you're there so maybe you can go to work or you can go do some training in the gym do some walking do some running and if you don't have your physical health maybe you have your spiritual health maybe you can do things for others maybe you can look into if you do any sort of praying or if you believe in a god and if you have your social health this is the best one because with your social health you can always go and release your emotion to other people you can speak to them and just by doing these any of these using any of these healths you can lift your mental health back to where it was rather than you losing it all Welcome to the new anxiety series. If you're suffering from anxiety or you know anyone is, then please share this video to them and do subscribe for more wonderful content on this series. Tips to dig anxiety from the root when everything feels like it's going wrong. It's your boy Perception Shifter and I've been handling my addiction, my mental health and my criminal behavior. Check out some more other videos that are flashing up on your screen right now. I'm sure you'll find them useful. and you might like them as well. If you've had any value from this video, then please do smash that like button and give a brief comment on the bottom on what you feel about on this topic. See you in the next episode and hey, remember, today is your best day because you are the best.